All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and advance it again. So your next station is gonna be your bullet seating. And then finally, your crimp. So right now we're gonna skip past station three, which would be your bullet seating, and we're gonna jump over to the crimp station. The reason I'm doing this is this will allow us to screw the crimp die down until we feel it touch the top of the case. And then we'll give it a little additional turn just so that we know that it's getting a little bit of a crimp. That way when we do ultimately get to this station, we'll know that we are actually putting a crimp and then we can play around with the adjustment and make sure that we're getting enough crimp. This will just save us a lot of time adjusting the die down little by little trying to figure out where the top of the case is. So let's go ahead and advance it one more time. So here we've got the crimp die. And make sure that your lock nut's up out of the way. Then we'll go ahead and run the handle down. And again, just go ahead and screw this down till you feel it touch the top of the case. All right, right there, it's touching the top of the case. Go ahead and run the handle up. Now let's go ahead and give it a half a turn. Now keeping in mind when you're setting these dies up, like I was saying earlier, your dies and your lock nuts are independent of each other, so pick a point on your die that you can use as a reference point so that when you make your adjustments, you know you're making the full adjustment. So for me, I'm going to use this as my point, and I'm going to do a half a turn. All right. So then I'm just going to go ahead and screw that lock nut down. Again, I'll just hand tighten it. So like I said, now if we ran that up, it's actually going to crimp that just a little bit. But we're not going to do that yet because we don't even have a bullet in it. So now we can go ahead and back it up. Now we're at the bullet seating stage. So the fourth and final die that we're going to put in, this happens to be a Hornady micrometer bullet seating die. So what we're going to do here is, this is going to be your major adjustment, and then everything up here, when you dial this, it's going to be a fine tune adjustment. So the advantage of using this over just your regular bullet seating die is you can make one adjustment here and then you can actually notate by the markings on here where your bullet needs to be after you've got it set and then if you wanted to change bullets down the road you could swap bullets and keep note of these numbers and then if you jump back and forth you would know where your settings need to be so again just go ahead and back that lock nut out Screw it in. We'll screw it in so that we can still keep an eye on these numbers. It goes from zero to, I believe, like four. And then around this one, there's also numbers. So you want to go ahead and back this out to like the number four. So it's going to be four on the inside piece and then you're going to be at zero on the outer piece. So now we'll go ahead and run the handle all the way down and we'll just screw this die down until we feel it touch the top of the case. Go ahead and lock that down. and then run your handle up. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab a bullet. 
These are 55 grain Hornady bullets. So we'll go ahead and set it in here. As you're doing this, you want to you want to hold it with your finger and guide it in so that it doesn't fall over. And then you're just going to slowly go up until the bullet goes up into the die and then you can just move your fingers. Go ahead and run the handle all the way down. Alright, so now it's seated down and in there pretty good. So now if you look at your paper, you're going to see that the overall length needs to be 2.200. So then we're going to go ahead and grab the calipers. So if we go ahead and put it in here, we're going to see that we're a little long. So we'll need to adjust this down further so that it pushes this down. A good indicator that you can look at, though, when you're seating these, if you're just using mo most of your common uh, 55 grain bullets are going to have this cantilure. Let me grab another one. So there's your cantilure. Generally, this case is going to be towards the top portion of that cantilever. So if you're anywhere in this cantilever area, you're generally going to be okay. Um, as you'll see when we get done setting this up. But we've got a little ways to go, so I can tell just by looking at this that we need to, to seat it further without even using the calipers. So we're going to go one full turn. And again, I didn't take my own advice, so let's break this loose a little bit, spin this back so that we can see these numbers. And tighten it down. So now we're going to go clockwise one full turn. So we're at zero. We're going to go all the way around till we get to zero. Now let's go ahead and put it in there, and then we'll see where that gets us. All right, so now there's just a little bit of the cantilever still showing, so we're probably getting really close. Yep, we've just got a little bit more to go. Keep in mind, it's always easier to make small adjustments versus big adjustments. If you make a big adjustment and you go too far, now you've got to go and pull this bullet and start all over. So we're getting really close. So I'm just going to go like a, a quarter of a turn. So you'll feel it still push it down just a touch, but it's yeah, so we're we're really close. I'm gonna go another quarter. I'm gonna guess that's probably gonna get us where we need to be. Now we're still just a touch long. We'll go another quarter. And maybe one more time. still just a just a touch touch long one more quarter and there you go again you're at 2.200 in this case, this round slides right through there now. All right, so now that we've got the bullet depth set correctly, we'll go ahead and slide it back in there, put the pin back in. Again, now we're going to go ahead and advance it. 
and we're going to make sure that we get our crimp die adjusted properly now. So when we screwed it down, we just gave it a half a turn just to, to let it crimp a little bit so that we'd know where we were at. So go ahead and run the handle down. And then if you look really close at the top, you're not going to see anything. And as you probably may have noticed when you're running the handle down, you probably didn't really feel anything either. All right, let's try it again. Just doesn't feel like it's crimping yet. So let's go ahead, let's run this up, screw this down. There we go. So I don't know what happened when we were setting it up. It either wasn't actually touching the case and there was a little bit of resistance or we just need to screw it down. But I just gave it like another turn, turn and a half, and now I can feel it touching the bullet. So now, now that it's touching, run the handle up, hold your lock nut, and let's give it another half of a turn. Now we'll go ahead and lock it down. Go ahead and run your handle. And you'll feel just a, a feel just a touch of resistance, but not enough. Now you're starting to see a little bit of a, a ring around the top. And break it loose, let's give it another half a turn. Advance it and there you go. Now you can feel the resistance when you're getting that crimp on there. Now if you look really close, you'll see a really bright or a bright ring around the top of it that's brighter than the rest of the brass. So you can tell that it actually crimped it as well as when you just ran it down, you'll feel that resistance from the crimp. So that looks pretty good to me. Uh, one way that you can check it, you can just take your round, turn it upside down on a hard surface, and just push push down. If it doesn't move, you're good. And we're still at the 2.200. Sometimes when, when you're doing your crimp, your bolt length can actually grow just a touch. So something to keep in mind after just because you check it after you do your bullet seating you also want to check it after the crimp because sometimes you'll get little variations okay so now we've got this all done we've got all your dies set as you'll notice I didn't put a primer in this one because this is just a dummy round just to make sure that we go through and set up all these dies correctly